Yeah, man. We need a car. My brother Jerry's had word from Ray Bacino, his Italian contact, about a big shipment coming in near the fish market. The triads are expecting something, and it smells fishy. The fish market smells fishy? Shit, man. I keep forgetting you're not from here. Something smelling fishy means that it ain't quite right. So this shipment smelling fishy means that it ain't gonna be what they say it is. But if it's going to the fish market, they must be saying that it's fish. So? So if this shipment is what they say it is, then it's going to smell fishy anyway. Shut the fuck up. You think you're a right fucking comedian, don't you? Learn the damn language. Anyways, I was in Algonquin last night partying with some sweet college chicks. Yes? You should come along next time. Really? Sure, sure. Guy like you, you'd have a good time. Unless you're hoping to see me sis again. If that's what's going through your brain, then we got ourselves a problem. Oh, yeah? The problem's that you'll be letting yourself in for a lifetime without getting action. And I know what happens to a man when he ain't getting any. It ain't pretty. So you got yourself a girlfriend, Becky? I do and I don't, if you know what I mean. It usually means you don't, right? Uh, you're a perceptive guy. I got the lowdown on you from Elizabeth. Some guys I know have checked you out as well. I think me and you could get along. I need a guy like you on our team. Don't you got other guys to help you out? You're from here. You should know everyone. Well, that's the fucking problem. Everyone in the neighborhood, hell, in the whole fucking city knows us. You can't trust people. I only trust my family, some of them at least, and people I don't know. That's why you're on this job with me. Because you don't know me. That and you saved my life. Saving someone's life has got to count for something in this fucked up age we live in. It depends on the life, I guess. Tell you what, I'll snort a load of rails, fuck a lot of drunk girls, get into f All right, here we are. What's the, we're going this way. Stick to me, man. Why don't they make these places easier to break into? All right, Nico, you drive. I'll take out anyone who tries to follow us. We're going up to Ray's lockup in Westminster off of Union Drive West.
You should have backed off a long time ago. Shit, Nico, these cocksuckers are all over us. I thought you had the luck of the Irish. I fucking do! It's just that we've got your fucking Slavic driving skills as well. That's where we're gonna get out of this fucking jam. Put your foot down, man! What, what the hell? Is it Chinese New Year already? There's a bus of grenades in here. Pass them up, man. Hey. I'll give them a case of their own fireworks. Here come the police! Stuff all in there. Sure is. All safe and sound. Whole truckload of it. Well, the wives and mistresses are gonna be happy when their men get a hold of those, huh? Whole city's gonna be hard. Get that thing moving! Feel your brain! Maniac motherfucker! Ah! Look, I'm not in the business of caring about people's feelings, bud. Everything is getting on my nerves. Mr. Minkov, anybody here? What have you got for me? Not much. He keeps a clean house, he's got a computer. Check his emails. Call back with any information that would indicate his current whereabouts.
There's an email that says he's meeting someone at Tulsa Street in Hove Beach. Perfect. I'll send someone to pick up the hard drive. You go to Tulsa Street. Eliminate Minkoff. Whoa. Killing is very different from gathering... You this... Олег, ты испугал меня. Я даже подумал, что это человек. Пос... Все, он меня дожидался. Пока, братан. So the plan was they were going to hide the diamonds in the Queen's... Can you get us a car, man? I'm afraid these two idiots can't drive for shit. Fuck you, Packy. Yeah, fuck you. Take us out to the waste management plant under the Algonquin Bridge on Colony Island, big man. What are you waiting for? Mafia-controlled waste management plant? You fucking guessed it. It's an Ancelotti operation. Ray tipped us off about a big payoff they just got. A fat cash payoff. Ancelotti's, huh? I can't tell none of those Watt families apart. Ancelotti's, Gambinos, Pecorinos. It's the fucking Pegarinos, man. We're working for them. Pecorino's a type of cheese. Pegorinos is a bunch of Guido gangsters out of Alderney. They're all mafia, though? Of course they are. Cosa Nostra and all that shit. Our family used to be bigger than all them mafia families put together. Back in the day, that is. Not this shit again. I heard this speech a million times. The McCreary's ran the city. People were scared to say their name, let alone come near their place in purgatory. Life was great. We were in charge. It's fucking true. I'd like to hear you tell Gerald that it's a boring story. My brother wouldn't take too kindly to that now, would he? You know the Purgatory is called what it is because people were so scared of the McCreary's? Did you know that, Nico? It's called that because people found the McCreary story so fucking boring. Listening to them was like being in Purgatory. Fuck you, Gordon. I'll fucking come back there and kick your fucking ass in a minute. I hear that Francis McCreary is your brother. Fucking Frankie, my brother. He may have a badge, but I tell you for a fact, he's as crooked as the rest of us McCreary's. More so. At least we ain't fucking hypocrites. Kate's the only decent one. I can believe that. You know Frankie, do you? I got a story for you if you do. Another fucking story. Shut up, Gordon. So, Nico, when Francis and Gerald was growing up, Frankie becomes an altar boy. He swears to this day that he wanted to serve the Lord. Jerry knows the truth, though. He only put on that cassock so he could pocket the change in the collection plate. Fact. That's Francis, down to a fucking T. I don't even know if he realizes what a crook he is. That sounds like the Francis McCreary I met. I bet. Model community leader my ass. You're just worried he'll start clamping down on you. Ain't you, Paggy? I'd like to see him try it. Not gonna happen with the things Jerry knows. Here we are, boys. Moment of fucking truth. All right, boys. If Ray is correct, then the money's going to be kept in the office in the main... Nico, stick fucking close to me.
Let's go inside and find this money. Hey, Becky! I'll go get my money! Kids, I got the cash! Shit! Looks like we're not the only one there! Just gotta put a few on this island, cause I ain't never Michael, you hold these boys back while me and Nico make a swim for it with the money. We'll see you back at the house, Becky. Why well, the money dry, won't I? I don't know how my boys are going to Drive a boat? You got to this fine country in a boat, didn't you, Nico? That don't mean I can drive one. Fuck it, though. I'll give it a try. That was fucking beautiful. We did ourselves proud. My brother Jerry's gonna be fucking ecstatic. Providing the enchiladas don't figure out it was us, they ripped them off. I don't fucking worry about it. But this figure was another one of the five families. Us McCreary's are under the fucking radar nowadays, it ain't a problem. I hope you're right, for my sake. Now shut up and think about the money. If that don't work, think about my sister. I'll tell you though, you're only getting your hands on one of those things, you maniac. And it ain't gonna be my cave. We did it. 